What is going on everyone and welcome back our YouTube fishing family to my garage. We just got a very exciting box in today from Do It Mold. So we're going to be spending some time in the garage learning how to pour our own lead and make our own lead jigs along with some other goodies. Uh, very excited for this video because I've wanted to do this for a long time. You guys know, if you've seen some of our past videos, we got into making some of our own soft plastic baits. And I just got done pouring up a ton of these three inch grub worms. And I need some ball head jigs to put on them. And wouldn't you know it, I just happened to order a ball head jig mold from do it molds along with all of the hooks that we need to go with it and some other goodies and we've also got three other awesome awesome molds that are going to be vital in our bass fishing our walleye fishing our crappie fishing everything for the remainder of this year as we head into that later summer and start transitioning into fall i cannot wait to get these out for another video and show you guys what we have in store. But today we are gonna make some round head ball jigs. Yeah, yeah, Do It Molds calls this one the round head jig. This one is the assorted sizes. So it has everything from a half inch jig all the way down to a 132nd ounce jig head. Which means we are also gonna be having some jig heads for Ice fishing, that's right, we gotta start prepping. Ice fishing is not too, too far away. Okay, maybe it's six months from now and I'm just wishful hoping, but you know, eventually we'll wanna use some of these too. As always, thanks you guys for watching this video, greatly appreciate it. If you do like it, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, appreciate it, helps out the channel, and we gotta keep doing more stuff like this, bringing videos to you guys, so we appreciate you guys watching. Let's get started. All right, guys, well to start, here is what we are using today um what i ordered was four molds and then a ton of different hooks uh we have some over here we've got a bunch of owner hooks for a future project we've got some big gamagatsu some mustad hooks some eyes more mustad hooks so you guys will see that the the molds that i bought are ones that i use a lot of um, especially these round head ball molds. Those are something that I use a lot for walleye fishing and crappie fishing. So being able to make my own of these is going to not only be more cost effective, cause you can definitely save some money doing this. Uh, it does take time though. Um, but I don't mind that. So if you guys are like me, you don't mind spending some time on your tackle and other things. So first things first, the most important thing for me to get was something that I could actually melt the lead and pour it. Um, I didn't want one of the little hand ladles to do anything like that. So what I ordered was a Lee electric melter. This is the Lee pro pot four. And the first thing that I did was I just turned it on because I wasn't too certain about how all it worked. Uh, there is a temperature gauge um, from a low setting all the way up to high and it goes essentially, that's about it. <laughs> I mean, even in the instructions, it doesn't really tell you what temperature those are or anything like that. I'm not a big instructions guy. I can kind of figure it out. But today what we're going to do is I am going to use some old catfish sinkers. So this is a 14 ounce sinker this one is an eight ounce sinker these things have just been sitting around for a long time so they're going to get some new life today um but this is a very simple and easy pot for those of you guys that are wanting to get started in this or maybe kind of look at a different pot this thing comes fully assembled just like this the only thing you have to do is screw this little uh weighted handle on is all you have to do when this thing comes out of the box and it's pretty simple. So once you load your lead in, once you turn it on, it takes, you know, maybe 10, 10 minutes or so to actually melt that lead. But there is a rod right here. And the rod is kind of free, but it, it goes down into the tiny little nozzle right here where the lead actually comes out. And this handle controls everything. So you just lift it up, that'll pour a little lead, you drop it back down, and that kind of lodges the rod back into the nozzle so no lead comes out. So it's a real simple process of just lifting this lever and getting them into 
the holes into the mold. All right, so this thing is now on and it's gonna start warming up. There's not a light or anything indicating that it's on, but you're gonna know it's on pretty quick because it's gonna get hot. Make sure if you guys are gonna do this, you are in a very well ventilated area. You know, I'm, I'm pretty good with the soft plastics and warming those up in the microwave, uh, but I'll do that even with the garage door shut sometimes as long as the fan's on. This melting lead, I ain't taking any chances. This garage door is open, the fan is coming on, so be safe when you guys are doing this and also, Get a good pair of gloves. These probably aren't even the best for melting lead, but it's better than bare skin, right? So take the necessary precautions is all I'm saying. All right, while this heats up, I'm gonna show you guys another thing I love about these do-it molds. It basically gives you all the instructions and everything you need right on the mold. I absolutely love it. So this one says using Eagle Claw style 570 or 575 jig hooks or VMC style uh, jig hooks, and it gives you the size again. And then on each, individual round head jig it tells you not only the size that it will be in weight but also what hook size you want to use as you move up so when i ordered they were actually out of the number ones as well as the two aught and the three aught so i have the six the fours the twos and then the one aught so i don't know how well we're gonna be able to make a half ounce jig i don't know that i'm really going to make a ton of those in the first place uh that's kind of heavy for a lot of what we use but i do want to make up to this three eights um that is a very popular size that i use a lot of the times especially for even for like wipers and stuff like that so i do want to make all the way up to there and a one knot will fit into that one so the first step is to just go ahead and get these hooks laid into the mold and actually before i get the hooks in you can kind of see in here that lead has started to melt a little bit uh, from what was in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in our sinkers. So I'm gonna add in the 14 ounce giant sinker first. That's about as far in there as I can get it. And then I'm also gonna put in the eight ounce sinker on that side. And you should probably try not to drop it like that. The eight ounce sinker is gone and the 14 ounce sinker looks like it is starting to melt down. Oh yeah, there she goes. And giant 14 ounce sinker just melting like butter at the moment and she is gone so now they are both melted uh, so what I'm gonna do because these are again old sinkers I'm gonna add a little bit of the clean cast lead fluxing compound to this um, again just order this from duo molds it doesn't take a lot at all it says for five to ten pound pots which this is I believe is a ten pound pot um, it says use an eighth teaspoon. So I don't have this thing nearly full. There's a little over a pound of lead in here. So I'm just gonna take a little bit out of here and put it in. We're gonna stir it up. And I'm sure there's tools for it, but I don't have one. So I'm gonna use a flat tip screwdriver. I'm just gonna stir up the lead and scrape all of the crap off the top of it. Okay, so aerial view for you guys while I do this. This is the uh, fluxing compound. And this is just a little quarter teaspoon. I'm just gonna take a tiny bit of this. That's about all. I'm gonna drop it in here. And they said, and some of these don't be surprised if there's like a little flame or something when you add that. There's definitely some sizzling, you can hear it. And I'm just gonna stir this up. Should probably have on my glove while I'm stirring this too, just so nothing pops or anything like that. And you guys can kind of see some of the crap that's on the top of this now. And that's the stuff that I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of scrape all to one side. So I'm just gonna lift that up off the side. Here's some of that material that we are getting out of there. And then I am actually going to, this is a cold mold, so I'm actually gonna set this on top of here for a couple minutes. That lead's gonna stay nice and hot, that heat's gonna rise and it's gonna warm up this mold, which should hopefully give us a better cast when we pour it in there. All right guys, gloves are on. This mold has been sitting up here, warming up for a little while now, so it should be nice and hot. And so each of these has a little bit of a sprue. We are gonna go ahead and do all of these today. And this is a pretty easy process. So we're gonna line these up. I'm gonna go ahead and drop that off. And we just wanna fill this up until that sprue is full.
and just like that so all of these are done um, quite frankly they set up almost immediately but we're gonna go ahead and give this a couple minutes to cool off so I'm just gonna go ahead and set it down right here we'll give it a couple minutes to cool off and we'll see what we end up with well like I said I think it only takes a couple seconds for these things to solidify check that out our very first jigs ever they're shiny and look great um, couple issues so we're gonna have to kind of work on our technique here a little bit but you can kind of see here this one didn't kind of finish up the collar same thing here so definitely got a little bit to work on um, just to make sure that these come out perfect maybe you need to heat up the lead a little bit more or I don't know if the lead needs to be a little bit hotter I think the mold should have been plenty hot um, although we could maybe hit it with a torch or something just to make sure it is hot enough but those are gonna look great um, so I'm actually gonna pull these out and say I'm gonna pull them out by the sprue man look at that that looks fantastic perfect super happy with these with the sprue on here what I'm using I'm just using some some little clippers here some side cutters and I'm just gonna clip the sprue off the sprue gets tossed right back in there and if I need to I've got another set of clippers here that I can get a little bit closer and just kind of round this out and again I think there's kind of a I'm sure there's a tool for this, but you can always file down the sharp part too, but look at that. I mean, that's just, that's just awesome. Make sure it's focusing there. Perfect little round head jig. I think this is the, this wasn't the half. This must be the three eighths. Awesome. Loving it. Let's pour some more. Oh, those look great. Yeah, that could not be better. Give her a good pour. Awesome. Open her up. And again, just three nice looking jigs. All right, here's the pile of jigs. Obviously we need to cut the sprues off. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut all the sprues off, put that back into the remelt pile. All right, guys, so I just got wrapped up with making my first lead jigs ever. And I've got to say, I'm super excited. We ended up making 23 jigs today in just a matter of a few minutes. I mean, once the lead was hot enough, once the mold was warmed up, everything went smooth. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Maybe you learned something or maybe you just clicked on the video because you're interested in buying one of these or getting started. Um, so hopefully you have something to take away from it. My takeaway is that having the mold really warm helped a lot with that lead really kind of staying in that liquid form to really fill in the collar and the barb of these jigs. But I think what I'm most excited about is I reuse something kind of like recycling the soft plastic baits. If you've seen some of those videos where we recycle plastic and turn them into fishing lures, did the, kind of the same thing today. I took two super old catfish sinkers that I had used years and years ago, but had saved, melted them and turned them into something that looks absolutely just brand new. I mean, these, these are what comes out of a bag. Pennies on the dollar is the point. Pennies on the dollar. And look how much lead we still have afterwards. I have two big ingots that I kind of showed you guys that I poured, but also after I cut off all the sprues, this was just what was left from the sprues. And that is a chunk of lead. There's probably enough lead here to do all of these again and then still have some left over. These don't take hardly any lead at all. I'm super happy about it, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I cannot wait to show you these guys. These molds are gonna be fun too. So I guess if you enjoyed it, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. That way you guys can see these future videos where we get a little bit more complex into uh, some bass baits. They're going to be good. I'm looking forward to it. The other thing we need to do is, is maybe get some paints, start painting some of these. So lots of endless possibilities. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Always appreciate you guys taking your time out of your day to watch these videos. We'll see you next time. Take care.